We eat. We drink. We breathe. Microplastics. Every one of us, up to five grams per week. This corresponds to the weight of a credit card. Microplastics have been found in the ocean, in rivers, soils, animals, human bodies. Microplastics are everywhere. Plastics are made of polymers. We know about 200 different types of plastic. Together with their subcategories, they are forming millions of different products. Since 1950, 8.3 billion tons of plastics have been produced. 2.6 billion tons are actually in use. They are our everyday helpers. But as soon as this abundance of plastics with a size smaller than five millimeters is released into the environment, many individual substances become one, microplastics. The reason for the high distribution of microplastic in our ecosystem are non-existing, non-efficient, and not really used recycling and waste disposal processes. And here my journey starts. Because I did not, and I do not, want to close my eyes before growing problems. I set my focus on developing solutions. My developing subject was water pollution. As everybody knows, clean water is becoming rare. More and more substances, so-called micropollutants, are in our waters. Cleaning water is a huge challenge for research and industries. And unfortunately, the solutions that we have now in hand are really far away from efficient, they are really far away from holistic and sustainable. That is why I took up my challenge seven years ago with the deep wish to remove micropollutants from our waters and try to protect our ecosystem, our animals, and ourselves. So what happened seven years ago? After having spent several years in the hamster wheel of polymer industry, I got the chance to re-enter university and started my academic career as a junior professor for organic and ecological chemistry. There, I got the chance to dig deeper into research on water pollution. I was driven to open new doors for the, at least to me, fascinating groups of so-called hybrid silica gels. During my PhD, I've already learned a lot of these groups, and I told myself, what if my team and I are able to modify hybrid silica gels to remove micropollutants from water? I got a lot of laughter and skeptical comments when I talked to my scientific colleagues, to water cleaning industries and a number of other people. They told me it would be impossible to solve a global environmental, of, a global environmental problem of micropollutants in water by modification of hybrid silica gates. If you've read the headline of my title, you know how the story continues. Well, if someone tells me, Something will not work, you bet that I will look for ways to prove the opposite. I just love these kind of challenges. Plus, if I believe in things, they could get 
100% of my passion and energy. So I told myself, challenge accepted. And after several tests, it quickly turned out, I'm not that wrong, hybrid silica gels actually had a great deal of potential. These compounds can be modified to remove pharmaceuticals, pesticides, heavy metals, and microplastics. And today, I want to show you how the microplastic removal looks like. Hey, don't look that scared. This talk will not turn into a chemistry lecture now, I promise, because the process is extremely simple and everybody of you will understand how it works. So, let's have a look. First, we are working on a wastewater treatment plant, which means we have a 2,000-liter reactor filled with polluted water, filled with microplastics, and equipped with a stirrer. Then, we put our magic reagent to the steering solution of microplastics and water, and we see that the small microplastic particles agglomerate. They're clumping together, and they are floating on the surface. In the end, you can easily skim the microplastic agglomerates, and you have clean water. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, here I am. I want my challenge. Yay! But actually, I'm far away from this mission completed. Because my mission is to clean water worldwide. Which means now we have to spread the material and technology on the one hand. And it's most important, we have to set up the world into the direction of industries, politics, and you. Because everybody of you can protect the environment from microplastics by small rethink of consumption and recycling. So everybody of you is able to do the same like me, cleaning water. Last but not least, I want to share my personal motivation with all the people outside fighting their challenges, protecting the environment. A path is something you create as you walk it. Keep on walking. <laughs>